Hello and welcome back to our decomp tutorial series. Today we're going to talk a little bit about an important topic um, and we're going to be talking about specials and how to use them. We're going to be adding one. Um, we're going to be use we're going to be adding one that's based on some C code that's already in the game, but we're going to be adding one nonetheless. A function that we can call from our scripts that takes advantage of some of the things that we can only do in C. Now that's what these specials are. So we've used some of the specials throughout our series so far, like we've used Heal Player Party, which is a special that when you run it, it will heal the entire player's party. Um, there are lots of specials here. Not all of them are things that you're even going to want to be using. Um, there are some that are a lot, most of them are used in a lot of the common event scripts the, that the game uses and the macros that we are calling separately. The macros that we use are calling a lot of these specials to perform a lot of their tasks, like this get trainer flag is the C code that is that returns whether or not the trainer has been battled before. Um, because we don't check those trainer flags manually, obviously. Um, the code that runs the trainer battle, this is the event script try to do a normal trainer battle, it calls this special here. And now this special, there are two different types of specials. There's the normal special, um, and we are going to look here, it's the syntax for the two. There's a normal special, and in Pori script, of course, we have our parentheses around it, but in the dot .inc, the only difference is there's no parentheses. Um, but our normal special just has special and then the name of the special, the function that we're running. And it does code, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't give anything back to us, usually at least. Um, so, but then there's also special var, which we actually have to declare a variable that the special is going to return into. Um, so the special in this case has a return value. Um, and we can see an example of it here in the get player facing direction. This is a special that we can look at in, uh, it's in this list somewhere, I'm not gonna look for it in a second. But it, instead of saving to, to a separate variable um, automatically for us, or instead of just doing everything that it needs to do inside of the code, this one is one where you know we obviously want the value back so we can do something with it in the script. So instead it's just returning. And you know, if this doesn't make any sense to you, we'll start from the inside. This is G player avatar. This is the player object. We are, it is a struct, it is a struct in C. Um, so we are using the dot operator to get its field. That is the object event ID field, which this is just the ID for your player object. This is the object event ID inside of the list of object events. Now this is the list of object events. So we're looking at the list of object events and then we're indexing it to find the player object. So we're pulling out the player object from the object events and then we are going to get that struct that's coming from the object events and we're going to use the dot operator again to pull out the facing direction um, variable from the struct of the player object. So all this does is it just gets the facing direction value that is stored in one of the player structs for the player object. Pretty you know, simple at the end of the day, even if it looks a little daunting to people who have not done C before, um, but at the end of the day, it's not that complicated. Um, so you know, if we're you know, creating more complicated scenes or if we wanna add features like you, know, a, you wanna have a NPC that can tell you the EVs or the IVs of your Pokemon, now you're gonna probably want to create a special to do that because you're not going to be able to access the Pokemon data any other way than in the C code. So you're going to create a special, a function um, that is going to handle um, taking you know, your trainer party, uh, the, the trainer party you know, struct that we can access the list of structs of the trainer of the party uh, members and then you can take you know using the dot operator or whatever um c stuff i'm not going to get too into a specific for that example but to pull out the pokemon data from the getmon data function of that pokemon and then you can return that using a special um you know depending on what you are looking for um here we are going to be defining a special it's just player get elevation because in this code i saw you know below the get player facing direction there's a player get ele elevation you know, function right here, and there's no special for it. So this special list is uh, is just a table. So we can just add on to the bottom of the table, and automatically, since this function is already in our code, 
um, it's all it's already included we don't have to do anything else other than have this function here so if we wanted to create our own function though um, obviously we would need to you know create a new function and we would all we would also need to create a declaration for that function um, but then we should be able to add this new function to our specials list as well because it's inside this file and this file is included um, when our specials are created um, now we don't need that obviously but this player get elevation is just going to return it's the same thing it's pulling out the player object event and then it's getting the previous elevation um, the, the data field of the struct that is just holds the value for the elevation of our player um, so when we um, and again that is a that's returning a value so that's going to be a special var that we're going to be using to call it um, but all we need to do is just add it to the bottom here and then we can call it directly from our script so I have this special var test script that is just added on top of um, two signs that I have here this was something I was working on for a completely different project that has nothing to do with the uh, nothing to do with our tutorials I was adding a hook shot into the game but anyway uh, here we are going to call the special var and we are going to store the result in far var result and we are the you know the name is just player get elevation because that's what we added to the special link that is the name of the function here uh, as long as they all match it should be good we are going to then buffer the number string uh, var result in a string var one which is just going to take the result of this and it's just going to put it inside of a string variable so that we can actually display it on the screen if you don't know what that means go back and watch our text color and buffering video it's pretty simple anyway um, so that's all that does we we created a special for this and uh, now we can test it we can pull up our script and we can see elevation is three elevation is four Elevation is three, elevation is four, and it works. So we're getting information back from the C engine and able to use that information in our scripts, which is pretty cool. And there's a ton of possibilities for, you know, what you can, what you can do with this. I mean, the possibilities are endless. There are tons of, tons and tons of things that you can do, you know, beyond just uh, getting the player elevation or getting the IVs for the Pokemon or in the EVs for the Pokemon. You can, you can change lots of Pokemon data that way if you want to manually have scripts to change Pokemon data that you can give to NPCs and have, you know, a whole like custom Pokemon creation set up. You know, it gets a little complicated, obviously. Uh, you know, actually accomplishing any of those things is going to depend on your familiarity with both C and the engine itself, how the engine stores its data. Like if you are trying to create this player get elevation script on your own, if you're trying to find, you're trying to write your own special to create a, to, to get the elevation of the player and you didn't see this and you, you didn't know this was already in the game. If you wanted to create your own version of this and you had no prior experience, you probably would struggle a lot because you might not have no idea what the G object events list is. Um, or the G player avatar struct is or any of these fields and they can definitely you know get confusing so you want to make sure to you know follow your code around you can you know use your search and find and replace to make sure to also look at other similar things that's always the you know the best way to figure something out is to find whatever is the closest thing you can think of in the game in the vanilla game and read its code and usually it'll be a little bit illuminating but anyway that is specials and special bars they're pretty helpful obviously um, you're going to be using them quite frequently especially you know the game's programmed ones like you know um, some of the, you know, Rock Smash Wild Encounter, that's not one that we're going to be using. Choose Partymon, change party Pokemon nickname, uh, you know, all of these things that we are going to be able to call if you want to save game. That probably saves the game. Um, I haven't actually used that special ever before, but you could save the game automatically using that special, I assume. Um, don't quote me on that one, though. Um, but you can use any of these in your code. You can add more whatever you want to do. So I'm gonna wrap up the video. Uh, um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. Otherwise, uh, we will see you on the next one.